this? It's gonna be the day. Good morning, beautiful people out in cyberspace. How are you? Actually, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. How is everybody doing? It's a fine Tuesday morning on Long Island, New York. It's about 35 degrees Fahrenheit, a little chilly. So I just got myself a little sandwich. No, a little sandwich. Who says that? Sandwich. Sandwich? Weird word if you think about it. Sand and witch. Weird. However, I got myself a breakfast sandwich, and um, I was trying to record one, like, the beginning of the new year. Oh, Happy New Year to everybody out there. I haven't been out in a while, personally. I made a little bit, um, a little video here and there, some content. However, I haven't been on. But the last time I tried to do this, I was preparing. I had a record recording. I was fixing my hair, whatever. And I was in a parking lot and somebody started messing with me, like this old guy. I don't know if the car he thought was somebody else's, because later on I keep seeing another car that looks exactly like mine, a truck. And um, maybe they were mistaking me for somebody. That's why he was pulling. It looked like he was going to drive into my car. I kept, he kept going around the parking lot and going to each side of my car, like surrounding me. Then he started like looking like he was going to drive into it. And I had it recorded. So I just put a clip of that because I'm like, I'm not going to even get into it. However, but I have the full video. But that's only in the event it happened again. You know, then I would report it. But anywho, haven't been armed because I'm just like, oh my God, there's always something. And it just distracted me from posting. I don't know. Or being on camera. I don't know. I go through these phases. But thank you for your patience for those who have subscribed and stood with me. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm literally new to vlogging, recording, editing, everything YouTube, right? Or even everything digital. And um, I picked up the camera like a little over a year ago. And April was a year. So a little over a year. A year and a few months. And um, I started giving this a go. And at first it was just an outlet to be able to express myself. And I found it therapeutic. I was going through a lot. I had a lot of loss. And I was grieving. And it just, it was fun. It was fun to get out there and experiment. But I had no idea. I had no experiences of creating content. And like I used to go on YouTube sometimes and for music or do searches or watch a few people, but I never try to produce anything, right, on YouTube. So anyway, I'm getting away from the point is, however, I'm here and I'm going to keep, you know, learning and experimenting and seeing if anything will come out of it. I am enjoying it and, um, Hopefully I can do a little bit better or a lot better. And I'm feeling inspired too today. Anyway, so I'm back and um, happy new year. I got myself a little breakfast sandwich. Oh, I love a good breakfast sandwich. This is like my go-to in Long Island, New York for breakfast. I'm not like an everyday I need breakfast person. But when you're camping outside, I live in my Honda Pilot um, full time now. Um, I'm challenging myself for the winter. I didn't know I was going to do that, but I decided to do that um, before both holidays, before Thanksgiving. I had taken a little break, and then I was like, no, I'm going to try to do the winter. And um, what's the point? So any, so a breakfast, a hot breakfast sandwich, a hot breakfast, any kind of food. You know, sometimes I go to the bodega, bodegas and I get food. And um, it's just, it's really soothing. It's comforting, especially being out in the cold. Anywho, here we are. How's everybody doing out there? Happy New Year. Anything good going on? I hope so. Probably said Happy New Year like nine times. You know, like it's halfway through the month, but I wanted to formally say it personally. Oh, baby. Yes. Ooh, can you see her? Oh, God. All right, so I get sausage, egg and cheese, pepper, ketchup, eggs over medium, because I love a drippy egg, you know? Oh, yes. Cheers. Let's give it a bite, shall we? And then I'm going to put more ketchup on it, too, because I'm that bitch. 
Mm. Oiga. Mm. That is good. Sometimes it, when you bite into it over medium, it'll start coming off on your hands and stuff. I didn't even do it that time. This place is nice because they give you the sandwich and they give you a small coffee. Free. I don't know what that is. Anybody know what that graphic design is? I don't. I like it though. Oh. Mmm. My bite? Here you go. <laughs> Do you like egg sandwiches? Mmm. I love how it gushes in my mouth like that. Mm. God, bougie. I don't know what that means, really. My Sicilian grandmother would squeeze her cheeks and be like, God, bougie. <laughs> I don't really know what it means, though. But like, ooh, chubby maybe? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Let's get some ketchup on this. A little extra. Because I asked for it, but do you see it? Not really, huh? But even camera, I do notice sometimes it's because you're recording. Like, who records himself eating unless it's for this kind of purpose, right? For content. But sometimes I feel like, like when I don't have the camera on, I really enjoy it better. You know. It's like when you're being watched, or you're recording yourself. I don't know. This changes your mindset. Maybe because I'm not that experienced. So messy. All right, I'm gonna show you guys my hat. I think I have. Isn't that cool? I made it. Can you see? I don't know if it's showing. I made it. Opened it up and then sewed it so that I can, you know, because when you have hair, longer hair, put the hat on, especially if you want to wear it up, it's a pain in the neck. But if you have somewhere for it to go, <laughs> there it is. It's the little things that please me. Cheers. So, I just want to let everybody know um, I have an update on my status. Yes. I'm in love. I'm in love. This time, it's for real. 
This time, it's for real. It's true love. Yep. Yeah. Damn. And it's going to last forever. Because, you know when you know. And um, I wanted to share that. So I am in love. I'm in a relationship. And it's forever. Cheers to that. What? <laughs> you want more information? Oh, who? Funny you should ask. With me! I'm in love with myself! Good for me, right? Good for you! Like, I genuinely love myself. And that is a big accomplishment. I've been working on that for over a decade. I love myself. I'm proud of myself. And I am my best friend. Maybe sad to some. But I'm okay with that. My heart is so full and content of the love I've had in my life. Even if I lost it. If it's not with me physically right now. But eternally, emotionally, excuse me, spiritually, it stays. True love stays with you. Especially the ones who have passed, you know. And for the people who I thought might have been like partners in my life that didn't work out. Sometimes it is for a season. It may have been real then, you know, but we, you know, just wasn't meant to be a long-term thing. However, before I could ever really truly love somebody else, you have to love and respect yourself first. It's not just, oh, it's all about me and I'm so obsessed with myself. No, it's about being good to yourself. Being true to yourself first. Lovingly to yourself. Treat yourself with care. I'm learning to do that. And I've gotten so good at it. Sometimes I think I may be a little too comfortable with just being with myself, you know. And I'm trying to get around more people. And, you know, put myself in a situation where it's possible that I can meet people, make friends. Or, you know how all that, you know what I'm saying. That just isolate all the time. Because that's not always the best thing. But... It's worked for me in a lot of ways. I've really grown and matured and healed by isolating and reflecting and having solitude. However, I'm happy to say I don't hate myself right now. And I'm in love with myself. And... Yeah. That makes me happy. And I hope that anybody that hears this message knows that it's a good place to be. Just because I'm alone does not make me lonely. I have my moments, you know, where I'm like, oh, wow, this would be really nice to share. But I treat myself as if I was somebody I was dating. And how would I treat that person I really was in love with? And, you know, so I start treating myself that way. As if I'm my own, you know, mate. Sometimes I feel like I want to do for other people and I have all these things in my head of, you know, the what ifs and when it happens and planning. And I'm like, here I am sitting, waiting on the sideline and neglecting myself when I can be enjoying all those things even alone. So that's what I'm doing. Take myself on date nights. Eat incredible food. Even if it's just me, I'm worth it. Today I'm going all out. You know, like not today today but that's what I think to myself some days I'm like wow we can even like I haven't really gotten dressed up yet and take myself to the restaurant but I'm going to do that one day trust me because usually I like to share that with somebody like you know anybody family friend whoever you know it just seems better that way but I'm going to make it my thing this year to actually get myself together go out to a nice restaurant treat myself now don't get me wrong in the meantime, if I should meet somebody that I could, excuse me, you know, have part of my life become 
you know, a regular a current, you know, somebody in somebody's life and somebody in mine. That would be nice. I'm not against that, but it feels really good just to be not waiting for anything and knowing I'm all I need, you know, and everything inside me. I'm like, sometimes how do I, I was feeling hollow when I was sad, especially during the holidays and reminiscing about all my loved ones who passed some of them during the, that type of month, during the holiday months, some of them that their birthdays around the holiday months, all this stuff. So it puts me in a weird state of mind. But then I was thinking, you know, I felt a little bit hollow. Like I could really use a love reinforcer. Like somebody just to hug me and hold me and be like, you know, you have me. And somehow, by God's grace, I was so fulfilled. It was so cold. I camped Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. I even camped Thanksgiving. But it wasn't that cold on Thanksgiving. But it was like 12 degrees Fahrenheit here. And in the morning, I think it got to like 7 degrees Fahrenheit Christmas Eve. Christmas Day was cold too. And somehow I was comforted. Somehow the little bit I did have, like there was one bodega that was open serving hot food. And I went in there and they had like shrimp fried rice and... um chicken wings but this is like six o'clock in the morning you know because I'm up early I'm out there I'm like well, what do I want I want to treat myself had nowhere to go as far as with family I you know there was no plans and um it really comforted me and I was thinking wow after I got through the two days of holiday by myself I feel good. I mean, how can I feel so good? I'm alone and I'm fulfilled and I'm content and I feel loved. And it was like this whisper, like everything you put out in the world comes back to you and you sustain and you feel good because my intentions and my gestures and what I've been putting out has been positive. Now my walk isn't perfect and sometimes it might not be all as good as it could be, right? But mostly for years now, I've been putting out a lot of goodness and I don't like, it's not about me just toot my horn. It's better for somebody else to tell you that, but I know that for a fact now. And that's why I love myself because that's, what's coming back to me. My pure intentions, my honesty, my, the love that I've given the charity, everything that I've put out that was true, divine measures, pure measures are coming back to me. So walking alone, has not, it doesn't matter. I still get it back. Because I'm always waiting for it to come in a form of a person, right? But the divine will have it come back to you in every way possible. It doesn't have to be another being, you know? Be like, I don't have anybody to break bread with. And then I'm feeding. You know, I was so excited when I was able to find, like, um those what is it pine corn pine corns that the squirrels really like and just this kind of stuff and trying to be more intentional and mindful of some of the creatures can't just eat like the yeast from the bread so what's healthier so I was put breaking banana even the birds were going for it and like you know but it was still like okay I am alone but I'm like I felt loved it was a blessing and I'm like wow you know you gotta open up your mind and don't just be so narrow-minded and see that there's love all around. It doesn't just come in the form that you want it to, you know, or think that's the way it should be. And that's been fulfilling. Anyway, so I'm in love with myself. Say what you will. I'm happy with that. They don't hate myself. Treat myself better. So we got another half. I don't know I might. I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say maybe I would save it, but now I'm like, oh. Or I might not finish. No. Because egg sandwiches? 
Not really great save. You know, like the la later. I'm so proud of my little truck, this pilot. I just bought this in May. So the summer she was great. And she's been good so far this winter with all the cold and everything. I'm a little nervous. I didn't know how it was gonna react. So we haven't had any, we had like a dusting of snow. Maybe an inch or two and some areas got three, but that was at the beginning of winter, I think. But not lately, so I'll have to see what happens in a snowstorm. It does should be good. She's four by four by four, four wheel drive. There shouldn't be any issues. So I want to encourage you, don't wait for somebody else to be loving to you. Don't do it. Treat yourself like you would want somebody to treat you in a relationship or how you would treat the person in a relationship. Woo! That's the drip. I'm not going to complain, but that's messy. Wipes. Wipes to the rescue. And just like that. Mm. That's my message today. Cheers. Love yourself. Love others as well, obviously. But first, be good to you. Peace. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a blessed rest of your evening, day, afternoon. Whatever part of the day you're in. Cycle. I hope it's great. And may all your wishes come true. Be good to you. Be good to others. Peace.